Florida's other Senator Bill Nelson also in Pensacola today talking about the Zika virus. In northwest Florida, there are just five cases of the virus, all travel related. But in the state of Florida, local transmission continues. There are now 43 cases, most in the Miami-Dade area. The CW55's Catrice Nolan has more. U.S. Senator Bill Nelson paid a visit to Pensacola today, but this wasn't your average welfare check. It's really an honor to have our U.S. Senator Bill Nelson from the great state of Florida here. 30 plus years of service in the, in the U.S. Congress. It's truly really an honor for you to be here. And most importantly, Senator, we want to thank you for always being a champion of Northwest Florida. The Senator addressed a room of media and Pensacola Council members. But a big concern for the Senator is the Zika virus. And he says the reason a bill to fund something to combat the virus is simple. Unfortunately, uh, excessive partisan politics. In Washington, Senator Nelson proposed a bill authorizing $1.9 billion in funding to fight Zika. A compromise bill passed the Senate back in May to spend $800 million, but got to the House of Representatives and failed. Now it's the end of August and there still is no spending bill to fight the virus. That concerns Nelson as lawmakers get ready to head back to work in the nation's capital. So now the issue is what are we going to do when we go in next week? I hope that there's been sufficient agitation about Zika and the real life problems as these babies are being born with microcephaly. What concerns the senator even more is the lack of being able to fund research for a vaccine. Uh, we are right, by the way, at the point of going to the first FDA trials on a vaccine, but that doesn't happen overnight. You've got to go through the first trials, then you go to the second trial. So that's at least another year and a half away of having a vaccine if everything works. But you've got to do the trials to make sure it's safe. Safety for Floridians when it comes to the Zika virus. In Pensacola, Catrice Nolan, the CW55 News at 9. And Nelson also toured the federal courthouse in downtown Pensacola today. The building has been abandoned now for more than a year due to mold. It will cost an estimated $32 million to clean. The project still hasn't gotten the okay from federal officials. The House of Representatives appropriation staff is saying, well, we're going to have to hold this until another year, until this officially reverts to the ownership of the federal government. My answer to that is balderdash. We're not going to wait around for another year because a staffer is saying that that's what they have to do. The senator says he's for an immediate response when Congress goes back to work after Labor Day.